This is the rose that uh, started to bloom. This is an ordinary rose that I planted maybe four years ago and I bought this from Home Depot. I put fertilizer in this rose because it wasn't really blooming in the last few years. So I used that rose tone fertilizer and look at this now. It is effective. So this side of the house, this is the front house right after my bay window. I planted some mums here and some boxwoods and spirea and I need to trim this area. That's the mums that I bought from Costco a few years ago and it came back. So it is a perennial mums. So you can see Speria, another rose from Home Depot, and boxwoods. It needs some uh, trimming in this um, side of the house. So every morning I pass by here and I will see this. This is my red geraniums, which I planted start of uh, summer. And there was heavy rain a few days ago, and the rain really flooded these pots. And I think it, you can see the geranium is yellowish. And I think the water uh, killed the plants. So I'm planning to um, plant some new plants in these pots. Because I wanted this area to be flowery. You can see my sweet potato vine. It was so tiny when I bought this. And look at this now. It is overpowering the, the planter. It's almost covering the geraniums. I'm going to um, trim this and I'm going to put those trims. I'm going to plant those cuttings in some areas in my yard. So this is my front garden. It looks like a messy right now. But you can see that the bobo hydrangea I trimmed them uh, winter time and look at them now. They, they grow so big and bushy. So it's really nice to trim the plants. Look at this, big blooms. This is like a um, three-year-old bobo hydrangea. I think I planted them in 2020. And they're so gorgeous. They're petite with big blooms all over. The cornflower is still flowering and I could see that the banana daisies, the flowers started to go like they're already gone. So there's still some left that the flowers are still nice. And this is the other part of the yard. Thank you for watching and please follow me or subscribe in my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much.